Hi, I'm Jason Hansma, guitar instructor for WorshipArtistry.com. In this YouTube video, we're going to be taking a look at the verses from Jeremy Camp's The Same Power from his album, I Will Follow. Now, uh, if you want the full lesson, you can click on that W in the lower uh, right-hand corner or in the description of the video at any time, and you can go to the lesson on Worship Artistry and get bass, drums, keyboards, electric, acoustic, everything you need to play this song. But if you just want to stay on YouTube, let's go ahead and dive in. Now we're going to start off in our verses. We wait till the second half of verse one. It's almost like a second verse completely. Um, and basically, we're just coming in with this little riff here. We're going to have our middle finger on the eighth fret of the B with our pointer finger on the seventh of the E. And we're just going to go one and two and three and four. One, two, three, four. Just alternating. E and four. One, two, three, four. Third time. Two, then we're going to switch it up. We're going to drop to the third. One, two, three, four, one. So that's the middle finger on the third fret of the B. One, two, second fret. Open. And that's it for verse one. That's just the second half of verse one. Verse two, doing a similar idea. We're repeating. We're doing something that works, but we're going to do harmonics. If you haven't taken the harmonics lesson, go check that out in the 101 section. I'm just going to go over the part here. So we're just doing a harmonic up here on the 12th fret, and we're starting on the on the second beat. So we're one and two and. So we're letting that one rest. So one more time, we're just going up the G, B, and E. So one and two and three, four, one, two, three, four. And we do that three times again. Now, when I do it, if you have a whammy bar, um, you know, it's great to just give that a little warble. Or, like I did it there, I don't have a whammy bar on this guitar. So you just push the body towards you and the neck away, and then it'll be, help you give vibrato to that harmonic part. So, anyway, we do that three times one and two and three, four, one, two, three. And then when we go at the end, we drop down, we take like a C chord shape and move it up here. And we're gonna, so that we're ring fingers on the fifth, middles on the fourth of the D, pointer on the third of the B. And we're one, two, three, and four. So once again, one, two, three, and four. Then we drop that down. One, two, three, and four, and. And we go to that open G to drive us into that chorus, which sets us up for the next part. So I have a loop and tab of both those down below. Uh, I only did it full speed because they're really simple parts. Once you've got that, let's look at chorus one. <laughs> 